We're with SPU Track Assistant Coaches Audra Smith and Chris Reed. The uh, Falcons have just had a huge weekend here at the NCAA Indoor Championships, capped off tonight by second place with Linnell Decker in the 800. A third place 4x400 relay. Last night, a fifth place distance medley relay. Three All American performances in one weekend. Audrey, I'll have to start with you. What do you think of that? <laughs> it's bad. Pretty speechless. <laughs> I mean, those guys were just phenomenal this weekend, and they all showed up, and they were never afraid, or at least they didn't show us that they were afraid, but they were such. I mean, yeah, again, I'm speechless. I don't, it's awesome. Okay. Chris, your thoughts as well on this group? Uh, same, same as Audra. I mean, it, they, these ladies were just so phenomenal. I mean, the national meet brings out the best and worst in people, and for most of our athletes, it brought the best in them, and they respond to the challenge. I mean, this 4x4, four four, they lost the conference meet a couple weeks ago, and here they got third in nationals. And Linnell lost the conference meet in the 800, and she got second in the 800 today. I mean, just really strong responses from the athletes, and they believe in themselves so much. And tying for 11th place as a team, did you even think about that coming in? We, we had some hope that we could maybe eke into the top 15, top 20 if we had a good day. Um, I don't know that we really talked about 11th too much. No, uh, that no. was, I mean, we're just outside the top 10. It's really special. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's been a long time that uh, that we've scored that many points at NCs and we're, we're tied for 11. You know, top 20 is kind of always what we shoot for, but, but that 11th spot is, is just great for our program and for our team and um, to t bring that back home to Seattle will be, you know, we're just so excited to do that. And I'm going to add on to that to bring it back home to Seattle because what it is, this group is going to be so great outdoors because of their performance here today. They believe in themselves, but it's not just the eight people that were here today that got to witness it and see it. It's the people watching back at home. They train with these ladies every day, and now it's going to give them a lot of inspiration and belief. And I think we're set to have a really great outdoor season because of today and because of yesterday. Okay. Audra, special moment of the weekend for you. Is, is there one that really just stands out in your mind? Yeah, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> of course, of course, those ladies getting third was great. But when uh, we were done with the, when we finished our um, our heat, I looked down and I just kind of kept counting the teams and then counted again and then counted one more time and I'm like, oh, we're eighth. That's great. We're gonna be eighth. Oh, or we could be a little better than eighth. Hold on, I better walk over to Chris, double check. I was shaking. And that was just, you know, just so excited, and of course adrenaline was rolling, and uh, so that was the highlight, knowing that, like, they did it, and now we just got to wait, just we waited to see what they were going to end up finishing at, so. Chris, special moment for you this weekend. Um, a special moment was actually just now, after the meet. Um, there, to point out one athletic performance over another is really hard to do, because, I mean, the DMR, yeah. Linnell's 800, and the 4 x 4 were all impressive in, in some really unique ways and, and the way they just poured everything out there but the really special part was just the hugs and tears and smiles with the ladies with you mark with audra with the parents that came it was it was really really cool all right